is Lisa Vance, and I'm doing a video on rooting the U uh, Rulu U1 Pro. I had done a video earlier and rooted it, and half of it didn't have sound. So now I'm going to unroot it and start it all over and show you again. And there it is, successful again. But let's try Kingo, Kingo Unroots. So we'll go to Kingo to unroot the file. And then I'll take you step by step through what it will take to root this file. Remove root. Some kind of weird error. All right. And now I'm going to show you how to put root on it. Today, this is actually a very easy phone to root compared to most. But I also discovered it had one thing hidden on the sample that I had. Scroll, go to your settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, about phone. Normally, on mine, developer's options was not open. So I went to about phone, and then you go to build number. Hit it seven times, and you'll say you're already a developer. After seven times, it said you're now a developer. Go back out of there to the system settings. You will then see developer options are open. You'll then see the blue thing here. The most important thing to have checked in here is stay awake. USB debugging. Scroll down and allow mock locations. Those are the only three things you need to have checked. And then you can leave out of here. Now, when you're getting ready to root anything, turn your firewalls. Disable them. I'm going to disable mine until system restart. Disable any program that will ch d do automatic stuff. I got Norton, so I'm going to disable live update. I go to settings, general, all that, and I turn everything off that might interfere with rooting. Performance monitoring especially. Turn it off. Product security. Turn all that off. Hit apply. Hit until system restart. Hit OK. OK. And hopefully, if I haven't missed nothing, we're ready to get started a little bit. Now, before you start a root, we're going to download some programs. The programs we're going to download, which I've already downloaded because I had it rooted and my video messed up, is Super, it's from Google Play, Super SU. Busy box free, and it won't work without root, but it's busy box. And also, 
a basic root checker. That's the one I use. Again, it says this does not have root access. And Kingo's will go through and tell you initially you're rooted. It lies. When you try to run a program with root, this phone is not rooted. That's why you never trust that. You go and find a program and run it. Do your root checker and run a program that takes root. Okay. So we got root checker downloaded. I also downloaded TWRP Manager. You need that downloaded. And to test the root, I downloaded a titanium backup that takes root. Let me make sure. Yes, that is all the programs I downloaded for this phone. Actually, I'll let you see what Kingo's does. Plug my phone up to the top of my computer and it's sitting up there under the USB port. Now, and it says this has a root status, but as I showed you on the phone, it doesn't. Now, since I did it once, I'm not sure if Kingo's would root this time. We're going to find out. It's installing the programs. Because when you go through it the first time, Kingo's does not root this phone. But once you remove it and put it back, it very well may. But we'll see. And it shows in the bottom left hand corner that it is connected. It's waiting on device. You stand up and it says on your phone it's trying to do this. Make sure your phone is turned on. Now it says root succeeded with Kingo finish and reboot. So we're going to do that. I'm going to unplug it and reboot it. And like I said, it may give a positive since it was already rooted. But normally that's not going to get you this phone rooted. Verify root.
Sorry, this does not have root access, even though the app said it did. King Guns will not root this phone. So we're going to plug it back up to the computer to the USB port. This is a program I have on here right now. Now, the program that actually does root this phone is a program that is called iRoot. And we're going to reroute the phone with this one, as we just tried to do with Kingo. It's iRoot. And it is a Japanese program, but you can get it in English. Now, as it's doing it, check and see what your phone's doing. All right, it said it was successful. Root checker. Congratulations. This program device has root access for the U1 Pro Android version 4.42 but that's just we're not done yet we're going to verify it by using programs the next program is one I told you to download and that is Titanium Backup it takes root to run it Asking for root rights. And for some reason my phone's in Japanese. Which it was not earlier. I always check blue. Alright. Root access. Okay. Now, Titanium Backup Restore accounts. No backup yet. Backup. It says one backup. Okay. I think at this point I will run 
root checker one more time for you guys. That's all it took. Overall, it took 15 minutes to root this phone. Once you just download the stuff first. And this is actually something I can tell you to do step by step. Do not forget the settings things I told you about. You know, because I was surprised developer's options was not turned on in this phone for me. And also one more I forgot to tell you about was click stay awake under it. It'll never sleep while charging. That way it won't go off while you're in the middle of rooting. Uh, do that. USB debugging. Allow mock locations. Then you download the following programs. I'll read them in a list for my, for you. You download download from Google Play, Busy, Fox, Free, right there. And this is so once it's rooted, you'll be able to go through, and you'll know. Also download. basic root checker. All these programs are free programs. Titanium backup that requires root. TWRP manager. It's weird. The first time it was all in English but it's still mostly there. And as you can see that opens up Some other programs I really recommend on storage is move to SD card and link to SD. But one thing I've noticed with this phone, in most phones it'll give you a move button. I have yet to manage to make a move button appear in this phone. I'll do another video when I find that one. The phone is rooted. I also downloaded some programs I like to run. One is Internet Booster. Next app SD fix RAM booster and they're just free programs and I have a rooted Irulu U1 Pro. I'm gonna place this up on my YouTube website and I think I feel brave enough to actually do the YouTube so I'll have a video coming for that one for y'all and I hope this has been a help to you now I'm running Windows 8.1 64-bit system I have not tried to do it on any other system whatsoever I cannot answer questions about any other system but I made no changes to my computer with this one the only thing I did was download uh, Kingo and iRoot. It's the only programs I downloaded. And I didn't need to download anything else. On a lot of other root programs, you end up having to download stuff, but with this you did not need to. So thank you. This is Lisa Vance. I hope you enjoy all my videos. And I hope you enjoy your lovely I really purchase and get the most out of it. Y'all have a great Christmas and a wonderful day. And it's got good graphics too, by the way. This house is